yeah, what's up with it? Do it cause I love it and I stuck with it We ain't with the sub and in the cut with it Please none of the talks, I heard enough of it Like, what you gon' do? Where you at? Who you with? You ain't really about this, don't talk about it Really on the move, on the map, never slip Keep your hands to your lips, don't talk about it Real eyes, real lies, real lies All the time, stand on it If we said it, we don't walk around it Loose lips, ink ships, red cup, blue strips New phone, who this? No, we don't allow it Really on go, I don't know what's an off day Now we on road, came from Yo, what is good, J.I. Squad, and welcome back to yet again another episode of J.I. Productions. It's your boy, J.I., and I'm back at it again with another banger video for you guys. Now, as you guys can tell by the title and the thumbnail, yes, we do have another modification. But first, I need to give a huge shout-out to my boys over there at Wild Hammer Motorsports. Huge shout-out to you, Matt. I really appreciate you, man. They actually went ahead and hooked your boy up with these joints because I was a little bit on the fence on whether I wanted to run these or wait for the carbon fiber version versions to come out my boy Matt was like look man I'm gonna go ahead and take care of you don't even worry about it we'll get you right um, and that's exactly what he did literally two days later after that phone call we got a box in the mail and now we're doing the unboxing so with that being said man let's go ahead and jump straight into this video man because I am super stoked to see what these joints look like in person and then also see what they look like installed because if I'm not mistaken I do not have to drill into the front bumper to get these on the car and I'm super stoked about that because every car guy and car girl knows we don't like to drill holes in our bumper, bro. Holes in the bumper is a no-go, except the dealership, they don't know that, sadly. As y'all can see, the dealership went ahead and drilled holes in my bumper to put a license plate bracket that I don't even have on the car anymore. But anyway, off to the side here, you guys can see we have the box and judging by the picture on the box yes we do have some dive planes for the 1LE um, I didn't want to go with the big you know traditional style canards man just because of the simple fact that it's still an NASS at heart you know it is a 1LE but it is NA and I didn't want to go for the original style canards because we all know the ZL1 1LE comes with those on the front bumper and you know I'm not trying to make this look like something that it's not as you guys know I am going to be you know calling this the ZLE or I've actually you know been on the fence I want to go with 1LZ I feel like 1LZ is better also somebody on uh, TikTok is using 1LZ so I think I'm gonna do Z uh, 1L yeah I'm gonna do 1LZ everybody's been doing the 1L the ZLE or whatever but you know I'm gonna switch it up but <laughs> enough talking bro let's go ahead pop this box open real quick because you already know we got the goodies man and I'm super stoked to see what these joints look like so uh, I'm gonna hop invader real quick Cause that's where my knife is at but i feel like you know what's a what's a is it really a ji productions video without a startup i don't think so uh-oh wake up boy and then the box fell over oh man this video is going there this video is going downhill real fast can't even get the can't even get the wake up come on vader oh man why is he capping he doesn't want to do it right now Come on now, come on. There we go. After 35 tries, it turns on. Don't you just love that? And what's crazy is I still have the stock bumpers. Just listen to that active exhaust going crazy. Shout out to Chevy for MVP. There's Mike. See you later, Mike. Mike's a part of the day I squad. Yeah, man. Oh my god. Alright, alright, we're gonna we're gonna cut that off. You know, kind of running E85 right now. And if you guys have ran E85 before, y'all know that stuff burns fast, man. But um, real quick, another shout out, boys over there at Sequenced. If you guys haven't seen that video, make sure you guys go tap in installing the third brake light. Um, I got a review coming here soon, and I'm actually gonna be talking to the owner of Sequence to give him a chance to talk to you guys and stuff like that. So make sure you stay tuned. But I'm gonna hop in the car real quick, grab my knife and We'll cut this box open. Just like that, y'all. We got the box open, man. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what it looks like, man. Just open box. There's nothing in there but, you know, the dive planes. They got them wrapped in some 
put old bubble wrap and then some more wrap on top of that, you know, trying to make sure that you're protected. Again, shout out to Wild Hammer Motorsports, man. If you guys are interested in getting anything that you guys see featured on my car or on their website, man, just go ahead, use promo code J.I. Wild. Save yourself some money. Looks like we got some 3M tape on there. So these joints are matte black. Um, we also have the brackets and hardware for these joints. Looks like they're made by Holly. You guys already know Holly High Rams and whatnot. So I guess they're dabbling into the, you know, aesthetic realm. As you guys can see, this is the instruction manual. Tells you exactly how to install these joints. Looks like they have that, like, neon green um, 1LE as an example. But I'm going to go ahead hold this up to the car for you guys I'll be honest just rubbing on it man you know touching it it feels you know pretty decent you know what I mean for what it is they they feel pretty decent um, like I said I shouldn't have to drill holes into my bumper looks like one of the mounting points is right here at the end um, so let's go ahead and hold this up to the front end man and see what it looks like I'm kind of scared don't want to scratch my paint as you guys know Chevy kind of doomed us all you know six gen owners with this thin paint but it should if i'm not mistaken it should sit something like something like that right Ooh, hoo -hoo, boy bro y'all yo yo i ain't even gonna cap that looks good as oh yo are y'all seeing that oh my god bro so look, I'll be honest with y'all, as y'all can see, as y'all know, man, you know, again, shout out to Wild Hammer, bro. Got your boy right, you know. ZL1 add-ons front, uh, license plate bracket, man. So I was kind of like on edge about running these joints because of the simple fact that I have the bracket on that side. I felt like it might be too much, but I'm gonna go ahead and grab this passenger side real quick and we'll mount it up to the car. We'll hold it up to the car and see if it really takes away, like, too much. I'm sorry if the camera's out of focus, y'all. Um, you know, we're working on getting everything in order with that and stuff like that. Oh, we. Oh, my God, y'all. Bro, would y'all look at. Oh, oh man. This is going to look so nasty. You know what? I think I might install this today, y'all. I think I might. I think I might install this today. So with that being said, and then I love how they match. It matches the mat from the 1LE's wrap on the hood, the side mirrors, the tri bar spoiler, and the diffuser, man. So it just plays in really, really well. I think I might install these today. I'll be quite honest, I was actually gonna wait um, because the sun was beaming, but as I started this vlog, the sun has kinda gone down, y'all, so I think I might be installing them joints today. I'm not even gonna lie. <laughs> Those joints actually look really good. I'm actually really excited that I got them. Damn, I think, <laughs> let me go ahead, I'm going to go ahead and install these joints today. It's not going to be in this video, but if you guys want to see the installation video, make sure you stay tuned. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button, turn on those post notifications, so you can be notified every time I upload a video, man. But yeah, I think, I think we're going to end up going ahead and installing them joints on the front end of Vader today, bro, because they just look so good. And I got a couple minutes to spare. I don't think it takes that long, but... I guess you guys will find out in the installation video, and I'm going to find out right now. So, without further ado, that's actually going to wrap it up for today's video. If you guys are new to the channel, man, do me a favor. Hit that subscribe button. Turn on those post notifications. Drop a comment in the comment section down below. Let me know what you guys think. Do you think they're going to look good? I haven't seen too many people running them yet. They've only been out for about like a month now, I say. So, with that being said, I am one of the first ones to run these joints. I know for a fact in Houston, because I haven't seen a 1LE or even a 6.5 running these. So we're going to see how it looks, man. Honestly, I'll give you guys my honest opinion after I install them. But as of right now, so far, so good. But with all that being said, once again, shout out to Wild Hammer, man. J.I. Wild is the promo code. Save yourself some money at checkout. And uh, I'm going to see you guys in the next one, man. Peace. Let's roll that outro.